I would give you a tour of some of the books on my bookshelf this morning. Um, when you you find a good book, and of course you can't get much better than the Bible, uh, but but a good Christian book can really encourage you. Uh, it can really it, it can increase your knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, but also you can find that inspirational uh, in itself. And um, so I thought what I do is just give you some top tips on some of the Christian books that have really helped me um, uh, through my Christian walk and also uh, uh, some of the worst books as well. So hopefully it help you to discern if you're in your local Christian bookshop or even just local bookshop some books that I would recommend uh, that you buy. So uh, let's take a look. Alright, so I'm going to take a look first of all at some of the Bible commentaries that I've got. Uh, Strong's, Vines, they're fairly uh, standard ones. Uh, you can't go far wrong with those. Um, this is a good one. Um, I'll just turn my camera. Matthew Henry's commentary uh, would definitely recommend. Uh, that gives you a full commentary on all the Bible and uh, you'll find that really helpful in your understanding. Uh, here I've got um, J.N. J. N. Darby's synopsis of the books of the Bible. Uh, this is really dispensationalism you would get from these books. I wouldn't recommend that. I'm not a dispensationalist, but still kind of interesting. And you can see very much where um, a lot of the doctrine that, that, that Darby espoused is very similar to Watchtower doctrine, and that's because it comes from the same source, which is the Millerites. Again, here we've got 25 uh, basic Bible studies by Francis Schaeffer, quite interesting. Um, what else have we got uh, over here? Yeah, Black's Bible Dictionary, that's quite an old one. Lion Handbook of the Bible, if I can just kind of oh, come on, pan out a bit. Yeah, Lion Handbook of the Bible. Uh, that's really useful and unlocking the Bible by David Pawson. That is great just for a kind of overview William Barclay don't really recommend him although he is quite popular uh, He is an annihilationist um, What else have we got uh, yet yeah, down here? Uh, Christian theology by Alistair McGrath or is it McGrath? I'm not quite sure but that is quite uh, a good book in terms of the history of theology and just as an introduction to it um, and uh, and the Old Testament speaks by Samuel J. Schultz, so that that's quite interesting, quite an interesting book as well. A um, few good ones here on 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 Greek uh, biblical doctrines by B.B. Warfield. Not read that yet, but but looking forward to reading it. Um, here I'll just turn my camera this way. Uh, you've got um, to zoom in on that summary of Christian doctrine by Louis. Uh, Burkhoff again Calvinistic but but still uh, quite interesting and then if we come around here um, yeah you see Eusebius and Josephus very interesting historical uh, books particularly Josephus will give you um, a, a whole new understanding of Matthew 24 and you can check out my video on on Matthew 24 on this on this website but but you'll find that really interesting uh ancient church fathers by this guy ken johnson wouldn't recommend that uh very disappointed one of the latest books i bought very disappointed with it um you're never sure whether this whether he's actually quoting the church fathers or whether it's just his opinion so i wouldn't recommend that one over here let's have a look we have got um here we are Here's the man, uh, John Wesley. This is my Wesley shelf. So the complete works of John Wesley, definitely recommend those. Um, his sermons, his letters, uh, and also just thoughts and, and so on. Um, now this is a bit of a gem here. Let's just have a look. Um, this is John Wesley's notes on the Old Testament now, you can only, well I don't know if you can, it's changed, but you can, 
in the UK you can only get these by sending off to America for them that's what I did uh, to this guy Shmuel or Wesleyan books I think if you if you google Wesleyan books or Shmuel publishing you should still be able to get hold of those those books uh, this is quite an interesting one this is um, uh, Wesley's uh, notes on the New Testament in modern English uh, it's written by it was done by a friend of mine uh, and, and I get a mention in the introduction and the preface so thank you very much uh, but if you get hold of if you can't get hold of those I would definitely recommend John Wesley's explanatory notes on the New Testament which is out of print I think but you might be able to get it from Epworth Press John Wesley's uh, 44 sermons again I would pretty much uh, recommend that but better than the 44 sermons is this one here uh, which is the 50 ooh, here we go 53 sermons 53 sermons but really really good collection if you can get those that was a present to me from a friend uh, but there you are there's notes on the New Testament my my original one looking a little bit uh, a little bit thumb through uh, but some really interesting books here and kind of rare books like, um, let me see, here we are. Uh, Primitive Physic by John Wesley. It's his book all about uh, natural uh, uh, healing, natural health foods and all that sort of thing. Uh, this is quite interesting, Wesley's, Wesley's Veterans. These are all the itinerant preachers uh, that, that in the old days, quite a nice kind of design on the books as well um just turn my camera around this is the imitation of christ by thomas a, a Kempis, but this is wesley's version of it so yeah you'll see quite a few if you see any books by the way on my shelf here that you're interested in you want to know a little bit more about them happy to um to tell you about them. there's one from the wesley fellowship handmade of piety that's on uh, Charles Wesley. Um, this is the, mm, I would call it, I guess, my Puritan part of my bookshelf. So we've got The Christian Incomplete Armour by William Gurnall. Definitely recommend that. Uh, Pilgrim's Progress, of course, recommend. Uh, the Saint's Rest by uh, Richard Baxter. I've not read all that, but what I've read I like so far. Coming down here, we've got, uh, let's see, John Bonian, The Holy War, um, and also uh, the, the, the Religious Affections. This is by Jonathan Edwards, uh, who's generally, I guess, regarded as a Puritan writer. And uh, Day by Day by Jonathan Edwards. I do like Jonathan Edwards, I have to say, even though probably I wouldn't agree with him theologically on everything. Uh, Fox's book, book of Martyrs, every Christian should own that. Uh, Fox, Fox's Christian Martyr of the World. Uh, again, some more stuff by Bunyan. Uh, Redeem the Time, that's by John Owen. Again, big name in, uh, in, uh, in, in Puritanism. Uh, not read that one yet, but looking forward to reading it. And then we've got uh, my King James Bible collection at the moment. Henry Morris Study Bible, which is King James. That He was uh, a creationist, and so quite interesting notes on that. Uh, Thompson Chain Reference. Not keen on that. There's no book really like this. This is the uh, the Westminster reference bible and that's got notes by the original translators of the king james version uh sides there a really nice kind of leather uh cover to it so quite durable really like that this is the let me see that schofield reference bible uh this is by ci schofield who along with jay and darby generally rec recognized as the fathers of dispensationalism um so again uh, when he's not going dispensational actually quite interesting notes there uh and then just your standard kind of king james bibles i've got more than this but i just these are just the ones that i've got on my shelf at the moment um what's that a hebrew there's a hebrew new testament there and copy of the tr texas receptus 
and some books defending the version of the King James, D.A. Waite and um, E.F. Hills. Uh, and if you want a really difficult read, try Causes of Corruption of the New Testament text by uh, Dean Bergen. Uh, down here, got some more uh, stuff on King James, King James himself, a bit about King James, uh, and a bit on the, the King James Bible, how it was put together. If you want to enter into these debates, it's really important that you actually read books like this and familiarise yourself with all the, the arguments in favour and, of course, against. This is a collection of other Bibles that have got NASB, keyword. That's the NIV looking words for where there. New Living Translation, NRSV. I've got pretty much every version, a revised standard version. It's hard to have every version, but uh, here's uh, even, um, where is it? Here we go. Moffat's new translation. Wouldn't give you tuppence for that. NIV uh, with study notes. Not a massive fan. R REB. Right at the end here, we've got. Uh, a parallel Bible, King James and New King James. Now, up here was my uh, Reformation section. So quite interesting stuff here. This is William Tyndale's Old Testament. It is unfinished because he was uh, killed by the, the Roman Catholic Church. He was martyred, but absolutely fascinating. His version underpins the King James, really. Um, and then some books on the Reformation, just on the history of the Reformation, what it was, what happened. Uh, again, the, the uh, Penguin, oh, sorry, Pelican book on the Reformation. What else have we got? What's this? Oh, yes. This is the uh, uh, common worship in the, in the Church of England. So you've got the creeds in there and so on. Uh, book on Luther. I wouldn't recommend that. It's just, no, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just font in it. It's terrible, really hard to read. Um, and again, uh, books by Tyndale. I would recommend all these, just like I would with the Wesley stuff. William Tyndale, Obedience of a Christian Man, and then Tyndale's New Testament. If you want a good book about the history of who was William Tyndale and so on, I uh, can really recommend this. Brian uh, Moynihan, William Tyndale, If God Spare My Life. That's about um, not only Tyndale, but Thomas More as well. So, so historically very interesting. This is, you wonder why this is in the reform section, because Arminianism is a reform doctrine. Yes, it is. Uh, so Arminius speaks, a lot of Arminian stuff, quite, quite academic and quite difficult to understand. But this was recommended to me by the Society of Evangelical Arminians, so I'm recommending it to you. Arminius speaks. Working my way through that at the moment. Uh, we're going to hit now my Calvinist section. There he is, John Piper. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not a fan, but anyway, got his book there, The Pastor as Scholar and the Scholar as Pastor. Uh, also, James White of the same sort of ilk, uh, but a good book on the Trinity, The Forgotten Trinity. Martin Lloyd-Jones, again, uh, I, I do like Martin Lloyd-Jones, don't agree with him on everything. This is quite interesting. This is um, J.C. Ryle, who's quite an old uh, writer, but very good. And he writes this on leaders of the 18th century. Um, quite an old book here in my collection, but interesting. Guess who's, who's on the front page and who takes up most of the book? John Wesley. Uh, interesting since Ryle is a Calvinist, but, but he says, yeah, John Wesley's the man. He's, he's one of the great leaders. Uh, so coming across here, we've got some older books. I've just turned my camera this way. You can see C.H. Spurgeon, the brown book there, Matthew Henry, Covenant of Grace. And then here we've got, um, this is uh, MLJ, Martin Lloyd-Jones, and his books, his whole series on Romans, uh, which is very interesting. Coming down here, uh, again, J.C. Ryle. Uh, but now we enter into some of the holiness kind of books, my holiness collection. We've got... J.D. Drysdale, see him there, quite an interesting character um, in the sort of holiness revivalist movement in the UK. Um, it came from Liverpool and uh, would recommend Price of Revival, The Price of Revival by John D. Drysdale, really good. Holiness in the parable is quite interesting. Um, what else have we got here? 
uh, yeah, a few a few stuff. Uh, this is my um, Salvation Army stuff. Would really recommend this tiny book. Oh, I can just pull it out. If you can see that, the Doctrines of the Salvation Army. Really recommend that. You can get it. I think they've done a republished version. I'm not sure who did it. But it's worth searching online for that doctrinally really sound, uh, really uh, Wesleyan Arminian doctrine. Uh, but would definitely recommend that. And then there you've got In Darkest England, The Way Out, General Booth. That was his book that he wrote. It was published just after the death of uh, Catherine. Um, over here, da, 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 we've got some uh, Finney stuff, Vials of Religion, Principles of Consecration. Not a massive fan of Finney, but he always has something interesting to say, always has an interesting argument. And then um, we've got some Oswald Chambers, a little bit philosophical for my liking, but I've got just been given a load of Oswald Chambers books, so I'm not complaining. Down here, Hudson Taylor. Um, that's the best biography you'll read, I think. Hudson Taylor in early years, uh, The Growth of a Soul, and Hudson Taylor early years, um, Growth of a Work of God. Uh, again, really recommend that. One of the best Christian biographies that I've ever read. And again, we've got some more. more a Thousand Miles of Miracle, if you can see that there, that's a really good one as well put out by uh, OMF, once were China Inland Mission. Um, but uh, really good, all about uh, Hudson Taylor's organisation. Um, so let's have a look over here. So this is apologetic stuff, On Guard by William Lane Craig. Um, new evidence that demands a verdict, blah de blah Who else? This is really good. Um, the Courage to be Protestant, quite a recent book uh, by David F. Wells, just deals with the whole um, emergent church movement and um, purpose-driven church and all that, and just showing that, that, that actually you're, you're designing a church for people who probably are never going to go to it. So a really challenging, fascinating book, that. Um, and then some of the... Uh, 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 the Forgotten Gospels, yeah, I've started it, not quite finished that one yet. Uh, know the Truth by Milne, wouldn't really recommend that. Wouldn't recommend Faith's Reasons for Believing either, but they were rather poor. Down here we've got some of my cult stuff, so Kingdom of the Cults, Walter Martin, standard stuff. Steve Hassan, not a Christian, but quite uh, interesting from a term of camera this way. Quite interesting, just from um, finding out about cults and how they work. Uh, JW stuff, so we've got the, the old uh, uh, New World Translation. Sounds like a contradiction, but... And then the, the newer, the Silver Sword, the new New World Translation. Great, comparing the two and seeing all the differences between them, how they've changed it. The Book of Mormon, plodding my way through it. Uh, not, not quite got to the end yet. Uh, here we just got a few different uh, Mormon stuff here. Re research only it says. These are given to me by Mormon mis missionaries. Do have a look at them. I do read them. Uh, again, some JW stuff, uh, which I also read. The Quran, uh, and then there's the Quran, glorious Quran with notes. Islam in Focus, again, was was given this by someone in an Islamic shop. I asked him what's the best book for someone who doesn't speak Arabic to find out about Islam. This is what he recommended. So reading that at the moment. Um, and we'll have a look up here. Oof, this top shelf. This is just a bit of a collection, some interesting things. Um, rod and Staff. Publishers, this is a Mennonite uh, organization. Really good if you're looking for stuff for your children, particularly if you home educate. Uh, quite interesting stuff for children there. And uh, again, this Growing Kids God's Way, found that quite useful. 
uh, really like this book, The Socialization Trap. If you're considering home education and you're, you're worried, oh, how's little Johnny going to turn out? Well, read that book. Um, again, some stuff. Amish Root. Uh, this was given to me. This is uh, a Mennonite Bible study book. The, uh, the, the, the church group, the Mennonite group, uh, that this belongs to they use this in their services so just do like a little there's little studies going through here what have we got principles and application um what else is there you would do it onto us you can see it uses the king james um now this is really good as well for children this is the new england primer Again, quite quite old-fashioned, I think 1700, something like that. But I love this. Uh, just like little, a little quiz for your children. Who was the first man? Adam. Who was the first woman? Eve. And so on. Who was the first martyr? Abel. Uh, and so on. So uh, this is some of my history books. Really important for people who preach on the Old Testament and the New to know a little bit of history around it. So we've got the ancient world, ancient Egypt, ancient Rome. This is easier, to, this is just as an introduction, uh, just on a basic level, what's going on in the ancient world. This is a good one on the, on the Persians. See that there? Uh, also got some stuff on, uh, oh, that's the children's one. Oh, that's some. Ah, here we go. Uh, Mesopotamia and the mighty kings and, and, and on the Holy Land. Uh, down here, more historical stuff. Ancient Egypt and uh, History of the Jews by Abraham Leon Sakar. Uh, again, he's not a Christian. He's, he's Jewish and, and the lady who writes this book certainly, definitely not a Christian. But really useful. You get, you get you know, other sides, other views uh, and it's important to to hear what they're saying. Uh, down here we've got some revival stuff. Probably finish a minute, you've probably had enough. But that's on the Welsh Revival. Uh, again, that goes with it. And um, how to succeed in the Christian life. A few variety stuff there. R.A. Torrey. Um, but but there's more I could show you. But but I guess we'll we'll leave it there. And I hope that you've uh, hope you've got some good tips.